Hey everyone, there's a new version of the Cascader Bridge add-on and in this video we are going to take a look at the latest updates. While I install the add-on in the background, let me give you an overview. So we've got some smaller but still significant changes that I want to cover first and then the main highlight, the support for the import and export methods and I'd like to show a couple of examples how these new options can be used. Alright, since the installation is done, let's jump into to the first feature, the reset settings option. This option lets you restore the FBX import and export configuration to their defaults. It only affects the first three sections of the settings panel, so the advanced settings won't be reset or saved. I should probably separate these parts visually as well. And speaking of the advanced settings, this brings us to the next feature, which is port change. If you have encountered an error due to to port conflict that looks something like this, this update should help. Previously the add-on used a port that might have been used by other softwares. It seems like Apple's Xsense, for example, could use this port and this caused issues in some cases. Now I've changed the default port to something less commonly used, but you can also configure the port number manually to avoid conflicts. If you can test it on Mac if it works now, please let me know in the comments. And since these port numbers is used both by Cascader and Blender, it needs to change for both sides. This means you will probably need elevated rights to save these changes. That's why this option has a separate save button. Moving on to the main update, the import export methods. So the two major requests you guys had was the ability to import animations from Blender to Cascader and also the ability to handle multiple character's action when importing it back to Blender. And these new options make both possible and also some more. So with these options in the drop down you can choose the import or export method that best suits your workflow. Most of the options align with Cascader's presets as you can see it in the dialog. The default option will be how it worked previously so the model import will import your FBX file without any animation. If you want to import animated objects, you would need to select the scene option, for example. But if you have a character with animation, here is the process I would recommend. First, import the model in its default pose using the model option, then rig the character in Cascader, and once it's rigged, use the animation option to import the animation to the already rigged model. For multiple characters, you can export selected objects from Blender, and then import the animation to the selected corresponding character in Cascader. And this works the other way around as well. If you have multiple animated characters in Cascader and want to apply their animation in Blender, you would need to Alt double click on the characters folder to select all of the objects that belong to this character. And in Blender select the export only selected option and the armature and and apply the action to the armature. And you will need to repeat it for each character. While it's not possible to apply animations to all characters with one click, at least this method allows you to do it character by character. So in summary, the model option exports object without animation. Scene exports the entire scene, including objects and animation. The animation option works only with joints and animation data and add model helps you to update the mesh on an existing armature. I hope you are excited about these updates. While there aren't any groundbreaking new features, these changes really help to make the add-on more versatile and adapt to your workflow. And as always, if you have any feedback or suggestions for the future improvements, feel free to drop them in the comments. Your inputs have already helped a lot, for example with the port change, so thank you for that. And thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.